on, Maccas. Uh, I'm sort of just making a video for another fella that I've been speaking to today in there, but I thought I might as well make it for everyone because it's the, uh, obviously the most common question that I get. Basically, it's like when you're saying which board goes with what or, you know, because it's obviously, it's quite overwhelming when you open up the box and there's a load there, but there is a reason for it. But you haven't got to start looking at each board thinking what it is. All you've got to think when you got look at the boards is it's just one. Literally, you know what I mean? Don't look at them all different boards. It is one board, one system with only two templates. You've got to simplify it all because basically all it's a case of you know all the boards are the same but if i wanted to take this shot here for example you know the three inch look board will fit in there everyone's favorite is the holly board obviously but just say for argument's sake that this cut was going to be like this you know say if there was another wall there and you can't get the three inch board in. See, you know, you could you could do it with a holly there, I suppose, but it's gonna be overlapping on that one. But what if that was a wall or something, you know, and you couldn't get it in there because of this? There are gonna be a lot of those scenarios because that's how the other boards got thought of. You know, I come across a cut that I couldn't get, but it's all the same drop. Apart the holly's the only one that changes and she gets everything square on. Usually when you're on your 45, this can get the majority of them. But, you know, as you get closer to the wall sometimes, it's, uh, she's not on the table. But this is the unique side of it. Now, obviously that's the way you're going to want to go. If you could, but we're going to say that something's there. What a lot you don't know, when I, I haven't been able to explain it. Is that even though you're dropping it back that way seven inches and cutting in with a full uh, 45 template, you can also come down seven inch and still use the same template to go in. The difference between this and the holly board is if the wall's not square and it's pissed, you do have to adjust your lineup when you're using these, but that is just fitting and it does soon come you know common sense it can only go left or right and it's always just by a couple of mil like so like i saw it's a tricky one to explain but so is quite a lot of stuff in the game that you all do naturally but you try and explain it and it sounds complicated so anyway obviously that wall's running right out i think it's bending that way anyway so if it's running further away that means you know your cut can be further away think of it that way that means it's going to cut it too big you know so in this case you wouldn't get your standard board in there so that's eliminated of it that's it this is literally is but you will get your 45 board in there so you could use that, and because you're dropping it this way, it's the same as dropping it that way. I don't actually uh, fully know the maths on that, but you know what I mean, we're flawless. So anyway, get the plan. Another good one for these I quite like, if you can't get them all in, is a lock board, you know, and a chewy board. Two together to build up that cut, and that's all it is. So. You know, there is only one board. That's all you've got to think of. There is no Pacific one for any size herringbone. They all work the same. It's just that what you've got to do is get one in there to fill. To get all cuts, you're not going to get all boards in. So, oops. I've got this one in place. There. I've got my mark down that board. I'll put my tile in and then I'll bring it forward. She hits that mark. See, like, I could do that, and all the cuts going down on that side or this wall, because it's going to be the same degrees out. So, oops, bit of a knock again. If 
you just don't worry if you don't just get them out of the box straight away and that lot and just know exactly you know I mean, what combination to use but if you can start off by just thinking it's one board you know it's one there is no pacific one for herringbone there is no pacific one for anything so and there she goes spot on perfect but it's literally a case of adjusting the lineup isn't it but now the 45 board well, it's too big for that one now so we're going to drop it down to the uh Mighty lot boards, and it's going to have to be lot board on its own, isn't it? So, same game. Get your towel. Is that one big enough? Can I put it in there? Yeah, move her up to compensate for the wall running out. You know, as far as being uh, just taking a sliver off or something like that, I am not bothered, you know. If that's all I've got to do to a cut to get those cuts in, it's not going to... It's no bigger deal to me. Oops. So, again, just a little bit of twiddling. But if you can look at the angle that you're dropping it in from and that lot, it's uh, it's still remarkable if you ask me how it all works. Oops. So now, ones like that, you are going to get your holly out, aren't you? She'll fit in there, but... For argument's sake, say that triangle was smaller, okay? Holly board can't get in there. What you would do there is you pull out the row before, drop the holly board in. It's nicer to be just a little bit further back. Now, that's the cut for there, isn't it? So you put that back in, put that back in, and you just build your cut up. If you can't get it in there, Come back to the one below. Build the cut up again. And you'll be able to put your tiles in there. You know, it, it's harder to, that if you get really up close to the wall and that and work with the boards. It gets more, it more difficult, obviously. But if you can drop it back one, give yourself a bit of space. You know, you already know these ones are right because you fitted them. And then once you get the holly into the place, and then she's, you know, she's taking it square on. She's, she's literally, you know, holly's never wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> but like I said, not every single cut you're going to be doing, that board's going to fit. So... Bit of a shitty little one. See, the holly doesn't matter if it's pissed or it's out or whatever with the holly, it's always going to work. But she only cuts what's straight on, you know. If there's bits to the side, you're not going to get the holly board in either. I'll show you on that one, actually, because we're going to get closer in. The dropping it down one is not 
you know, well, it's been around since the tools began, but I never knew it. It's, it's a relatively new one, really. But again, you just figure these out. Well, I mean, we're miles off even finding out what they can do. You know, can you imagine how many different scenarios, how many different tiles, how many different situations have you got to go get in for that to prove that sort of thing? So far, you know what I mean? They're everything can own, you know, they, they do everything. Uh, it's taken me, you know, I mean, two years to bloody learn all this, so it's not as if the penny drops straight away, boys. You know, if it does, then you're an arsehole. You know what I mean? I'm not going to like you. <laughs> no, but it's just, I mean, it's just a weird sort of setup. It isn't anything that's ever been done before. I mean, you may have your straight laid bits when, you know, that sort of thing. But, I mean, we're not talking about that, are we? I mean, who cares about that? But even with straight laid, the boards do stuff that you can't do normal with it but you know they they sell more with the 45 than they in that and the heavy bones but 